So Florida is experiencing an insurance crisis right now, homeowners insurance. How's that going to affect Arizona? Are we going to get more residents here now because of it? Hi, my name is Michael Smith. Some people call me Smitty. I'm a real estate agent in the greater Phoenix area, Scottsdale and Paradise Valley. Right now, Florida is experiencing an insurance problem. Six companies recently closed their doors. Rates have skyrocketed. Will more retirees consider Arizona over Florida now with all these problems, including the hurricanes? Let's take a look at some of the information from Florida and see what they have to say is going on down there. All right, tackling Florida's property insurance crisis, Florida leaders will be considering big things during a special legislative session next week. Lawmakers released a formal proclamation today indicating they'll be considering a number of concerns, all in hopes of stabilizing the state's insurance market. Washington's Megan Mulatto joins us live from our studio in Osceola County. Megan, what do the potential changes mean for homeowners? Officials with the Insurance Information Institute say the overall goal is to stabilize Florida's insurance market. They're calling it the most unstable in the U.S. and say that rates will likely go up before they go down. There are a lot of critical issues to be addressed in the special session next week. Spokesperson for the Insurance Information Institute, Mark Friedlander, says Floridians are paying the highest average premium in the U.S. at more than $4,200, triple the average across the country. We are seeing the market very unstable to the point where we've had six companies be declared insolvent this year. Friedlander says one of the reasons these companies are failing is because of an excessive amount of lawsuits filed against them. He says last year alone, Florida saw about 116,000 property claim lawsuits, which he says accounts for about 80% of the U.S. total. Litigation abuse is a topic on next week's agenda, along with a discussion on assignment of benefits. We have contractors soliciting business, particularly roof claims that are not legitimate insured loss claims, going door to door soliciting these claims, scamming homeowners into signing over the claim by assignment of benefits. And that's why assignment of benefits abuse is also a critical issue. Other items on the agenda include creating a plan that'll provide more reinsurance to homeowners, which insurers buy for protection from major claims like hurricanes and stabilizing the state run citizens property insurance corporation. So basically what's happening is is there's a lot of predatory roofing contractors right now down there. They're going into certain areas where maybe the age of the roof or the homes is a certain age where they know the roofs are about to expire and the roofs need to be replaced. And they're preying on these neighborhoods and they're going in and telling the residents that they can get a new roof. And if they don't get the new roof, the roofing contractors have hired attorneys to sue the insurance companies and therefore creating all these lawsuits. So it's causing rates to rise very quickly. So what does this mean to Arizona? Well, whenever a person is going to retire, I, I left Chicago for an example, and I know other people that are, they always considered the type of weather they want and where they want to go. The th one thing about Florida that you don't have up in Arizona, number one is hurricanes. A lot of people in Florida, experience a lot of harsh weather and a lot of rain, which is really hard on a roof. In Arizona, our roofs can last a lot longer because they mainly get a lot of sun on them in the summers. So I think that when people are looking to retire, I'm just wondering if more people are gonna to look to retire in Arizona, at least give it a try versus Florida. Remember, many residents are still only gonna be in Florida or Arizona part of the time. And with all the homeowners fees, and the insurance fees going up in Florida, it may drive more people to look for alternatives. So take a look at some of our other videos on the channel. We appreciate you watching. Please share the videos and like them. Look at our playlist. We have a lot of tips and tricks for buyers and sellers, and we also do market updates every week. Thanks for tuning in.